hi guys it's Karen again and welcome to another video and today I want to show you the different brow products that I have which one do I love best and what are the pros and cons of each and every one of them okay so I have here a few brow products let's talk about them first and foremost I have my e.l.f. pencil. This is Instant Lift Brow Pencil. This pencil has a spoolie on one side when you can brush your brows before you start the application of the brow pencil. And on the other side you have the brow pencil itself and the e.l.f. one has a pretty thick um, uh, <coughs> one two three and the elf has a pretty thick one the thick pencil if you can see i will yeah you can see it's very very thick and this one is i have it in the color taupe which is a perfect color for me one tip that i have for you is with the color of the eyebrow eyebrow product that you buy it doesn't really matter which product you buy of course you can see now my review and decide which one is the best for you but no matter what the color must be right if you buy too dark or too light it will have a huge impact on your face on the structure of your makeup it has a big impact if your uh if the color that you buy is too dark then it will look very strange and if you buy too light then it won't be visible so nailing the color is very important and I do recommend buying cheap products that if the color doesn't match you can just give it away for a friend or a family or other options that you can donate to charity uh, but if you buy something expensive and the color doesn't match then that's a bit of a bummer but if you buy something cheap like this one I think two or three dollars then you know if it's not your matching color you can just bring it to someone that it does or use it anyway I sometimes do that <laughs> okay so as I said second thing uh, second uh, thing you have a very very um, thick tip of the pencil and this is good if you want to do it very very quickly and just fill in the brows quickly 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 because this one has as I said a thick point to it so everything is rapid so you just fill the brows quickly and it's doing a great job in doing everything quickly uh, one thing I don't like about it is if you want to draw individual lines individual brows sorry this is impossible because the thick is too the tip is too thick okay so for individual brows if you need like i need here in the beginning i need to add individual hairs then this one is not really good but sometimes when i'm in a hurry i just do -choo 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 and done and that's perfect for that uh, reason and that's why I love it and taupe, the taupe shade is perfect for me so another reason why I love this pencil it's affordable uh, it's good uh, I don't know if I will repurchase just because I have many other uh, brow products from one hand and from an another hand that I like to try new brow products and not repeat something that I already tried and you know for the science of it, for the uh, experiment of it. I like trying each time a different kind and I rarely buy the same brow product twice. And well, that's it for the pencil. I have another pencil from Maybelline. This is called Define and Feel Duo. Uh, this is in the shade Soft Brown, which is another shade that is good for me. Uh, I would prefer it if it were a tiny bit lighter, but it is a good shade. This one has two sides as well. On one hand, you had the pencil. And if you can see here, the tip is thin. So you can um, draw individual lines. Let's compare the tips so you can see 
for yourself the elf one which is the white is very thick and the Maybelline which is the black is very thin so it's very easy to um, draw individual lines for me it's in the beginning of the brow so I'm using it to do my individual brows it's very very easy because of its thin tip so I'm just creating the brows that I need and what I usually do is with the I use the pencil uh, and fill in the blanks in the other sections of my brow which needs the filling and then I use the other side the other side is a powder which looks like that look at the tip and I use the powder to fill in the missing uh, parts of the brow where the pencil didn't do a great job so this one is really helpful to complement the uh, work of the pencil so if I have to compare the two pencils that I already have I think the Maybelline is uh, better because of its thin tip and because of the powder that really helps me to fill in the blanks with the color I prefer the color of the elf one so these are the two pencils that I have another option instead of a pencil is using uh, an eyeshadow this is especially eyeshadow for the brow this is by elf this is called in the shade light I don't know it doesn't have a name on it so I really don't know but this is the brow the brow product of by elf this is in the shade light and you have two shades here a very light one and a darker one this one you can use uh, if you like to never mind if you like to draw your uh, concealer in the perimeter of your outer, in the outer perimeter of your brow and you can use the light shade and the dark shade to fill in the brow itself what I usually do is I take my pencil brush not, uh, my angled brush sorry I'm just taking an angled brush and I'm using the brown um, powder and I just fill in the brows like so and it's very very easy uh, but you know you need you need you can use the small brush that you get with it but I don't like to use it I don't want to throw it away I need to throw it away and I just fill in the gaps like so with this powder and I don't like doing it but if you do you can use as I said the light color to uh, define it even more and add below and above the brow with the light color or with a concealer which is which you which the one that you like the most I just show you on the other side with my uh, pencil how I do it I just fill in like so it doesn't have to be precise because you follow it as I said with the powder afterwards so that's it it's very very easy and now I have brows <laughs> after I filled in the brows or with the pencil or with an eyeshadow I use this masca brow mascara in clear this is Florence by Mills this is clear and I this one has a very 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 small applicator and I just go over the brow so it won't budge during the day so it's very very easy I have a, another one by Essence that I love so much as well another uh, brow mascara that I use is this one by L'Oreal this is called Brow Artist Plumper I have it in translucent which I love very much but I don't know I can't find it anywhere so I can't repurchase it and I'm over it so I have this one in brown this is well there is no color in here yeah light to medium 
this is the color and this is how it looks like in days that I'm really really in a hurry I will just apply this over my lashes like this and it will give them color and set them in their place so this one is very very easy but for me even though it's light medium it's a bit too dark so this is why I rarely use it but when I'm really really in a hurry and I need to do something really really quickly I will use this one because it does give you color and it does set the brows so this is also an option and the as I said you know if I had the right color then I would probably love it even more if they had only light I would love it even more because it's very easy to use and I really love the mascara kind of uh, brow, pen, brow plumpers so this is a perfect brow, brow plumper <laughs> but the shade is not so good for me so this is my con in uh, regards to this last but not least I have this one this is a promed this one specifically is from Focalour this is in the shade 02 chocolate which is not my color this is too dark so um, this is also to be used with an angled brush you do ex the same thing that you did with your um, your eyeshadow and you just apply it all over your brow this is not the color for me it's too it has a tint of uh, red in it so it's not really the great shade for me but you just have to apply it all over your brow and you're done sometimes i go over it with the clear brow gel sometimes it's just enough to use the promade uh, i really don't like the full color so much it dries up too quickly i just bought it in march and it's too dry already so and i haven't used it for you know you can see that i hardly used it it's almost new so i don't really like that uh, brand for the promed they have gorgeous eyeshadows but i don't know don't didn't really like that one uh, just because it got dried too fast next time if i will purchase i really need to investigate the colors to choose the right one okay so that's it these are my eyebrow products that i can recommend for you and i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope it helped you to decide which is the best product for you it's it depends if you're the kind of person that invests time in their brows and you really need it to be top perfect i do recommend to use the promade because in this way you can reach perfection it's harder to reach perfection with the uh, uh, pencils or with the powder so the promade is perfect for that reason uh, if you want something really really quickly i do use i do recommend sorry the tinted uh, plumper which looks like a mascara so it's a brown mascara i think that's the <laughs> the best definition for it so this is really really quickly so if you really don't have time use this if you have a bit more time then this pencil or this pencil can do the job as well or even this guy here uh, so that's it for me now i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell and i'll get you all in my next video bye